installing uh, 7-zip, which is a Windows utility that will allow me to um, extract files from these tar files I downloaded from Xilinx. Okay, it looks like it's running. I must have already installed it here. I'll just click on repair. on finish. All right, now it should allow me to um, unpack these two files. Now you can download a set of four files or two files from Xilinx. You first have to generate a user ID and password and log in at their site. I've already done that. Right mouse clicked on it and said open them with 7-zip. Okay, extract the files. Extract here. All right, so now it's extracting these files, and I'll get back to you when it finishes. Okay, it took about six minutes to create this folder. Now I'm going to right mouse click on this one and say, extract the files in the second one. Okay, and we'll keep going. Get back to you when it's done. Okay, the second folder here has been created. It also took about six minutes. Okay, I'm double clicking on it and I'm trying to drill down to find some kind of install. Here, setup. Okay, I'm clicking on it. Okay, I get a splash screen. I can't move it. And now this is the window that we're going to be dealing with. I don't have control over the antivirus software on this machine, so I'm just clicking on next. I accept. I accept. Okay, I don't want this. If I install it, it'll give me a 30-day trial, and then it'll start asking me for money. This is free up here. So this is what um, we'll spend the course inside of. This is ISE Webpack. Um, let's just go with the defaults. Okay, it's going to put it in a Xilinx folder. Installation summary. Okay, install. All right, it looks like this will take a while. I'll get back to you. After 43 minutes, this um, window popped up. It's at 89%. I'm clicking next, next. I agree. I don't know when, what win PCAP is. Automatically start the win PCAP driver at boot time. All right. Finish. Please disconnect all Xilinx platform JTAG devices. So that's going to be all the Digilent and the Nexus 2 and the Papilio, and I've done that, so I'm going to click OK. Do I want to install this device? Yes. It has something to do with programming them. Um, I don't know what this is. Congratulations, I'm finished. All right. 45 minutes it took. Right, now it's starting to ask me about... Get the free ISE Webpack license. That's what I want. Next. Okay, I guess it went out and got it. Save that information now. Um, I'm going to save it in uh, desktop Xilinx folder. Next.
instructions, Silinx applications automatically detect valid, valid node lock licenses residing in the local Silinx directory. Use the copy license button to copy a license into this directory. Okay, so I put it in desktop 245 Silinx. But it's not a license file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to open that folder and click on that HTML file and maybe it'll go get a license file or have one there that I can download. It says Xilinx connect later. Okay, so it says this. Read directing. Click here if you've waited more than 20 seconds. All right, I guess I've waited more than 20 seconds. I'm clicking there. Okay, now it's asking me to log in. Okay, export licenses. Yes. Next. Create a new license file by making your product selections from the table below. Okay, I'm clicking that. Generate node lock license. Okay, next. Next. Please wait while your license is being generated. Congratulations. All right. So what am I supposed to do? Okay, it's been mailed to me. All right, so I'm going to get him an email and get the license and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've um, gotten into my email. The license was attached to an email message. All right, and I put it in the 245 folder Xilinx, and there it is, license. License installation was successful. Okay. Close. Okay, I've finished. Okay, I found the icons created by this installation process. There's three of them. Xilinx looks like Plan Ahead, ISC Design Suite, and Document Navigator. I'm going to click here on ISC Design Suite. Yeah. And has a tip of the day. Um, I'm going to click OK. And file, new. Project, I think, is where you start. So I think we're in.